The purpose of this train is really to test the abilities of our airmen. How well can they document situations such as low light, no light? Sensitive site exploitation, supporting humanitarian roles, and are they prepared to deliver that brief to a joint task force commander? The first week is very much lessons and walking. following week, we take them out to McCready, and they're alerted at 05 in the morning. Now to report to the Pac-Am squadron, no landing 0600. You are now on call. You're to report to McCready Training Center, get your entire team, and deploy them out there. With this being my first Scorpion lens, I felt pretty confused. Um, always kind of on my toes throughout the whole entire exercise, not knowing what's next. Um, but I guess that's also part of the exercise, to stay ready and vigilant. Uh, for whenever the tasking comes down and just be prepared for that. Hakuna! Matata! Hakuna! Matata! During Scorpion Lens, I've been very uncomfortable, but I was told that there's no growth in comfort. So being out here, being very uncomfortable, being in the situations that they put us in, I've been able to grow and learn from any mistakes that I've made, and it's really motivating to try and get better. These types of exercises are incredibly important in preparing our airmen to operate downrange, to be that asset, to capture that operational, that tactical imagery, not just for the commander on the ground, but to document what we're doing as a nation, as a military, to showcase to the world for generations to come.